Welcome to Get Locker. I'm Nancy and I shop at thrift stores, resale stores, abandoned storage lockers when I can find them at a reasonable price. All in hopes of finding treasures that I can clean up and resell in my store. Now, most of the items in my store are at one third of whatever they're listed for on eBay. So you can come into my store at 217A West 7th Street in Augusta, Kansas, and you can purchase something and then you can take it home and resell it at two thirds the price and get a profit off of eBay or whatever selling platform you choose to use. So come on into my store and thank you for watching my video. If there's anything in my video you would like for me to purchase, just let me know in the comments and I will be more than happy. Or you can come into my store and purchase it at a lower price than what you can get it from buying it from me on eBay. Thank you for being here. Hi, well, we're back at, still at Hudson Antique Market in uh, Harry and Woodlawn in Wichita. Nope, I'm sorry, Kellogg and Woodlawn in Wichita. And we're filming the booth. Today's their grand opening. And, well, not today. By the time you see it, it'll be three days ago was their grand opening. Because this is going to be the third video. Um, so, let's get to looking. We are in booth 105. And let's see what they have. Alright, they have beautiful jewelry. Um, origami owl custom jewelry is what their business is and you can see right there is their contact information and they make beautiful items here's the owner and artist You can contact her about any items that you see, or you can contact me and I can come get pictures for you. There's some Mickey Mouse earrings, Disney items here, and over here is area 157. That's a vintage flask. Um, it's, I can't think of the word. The flask makers would go around to people, and that's a sample flask. I have one in ceramic in my store. Look at the glass. Oh my gosh. Hand blown green bubble glass cruet. I love that. And a Czech bubble glass art decanter. And look at the kitty. pocket knives and beautiful that's a beautiful oil lamp and little bitty cook stove and over here comes to happy shenanigans It's um, area 156. <laughs> this is area 143. Beautiful carnival glass in the amber. And then the white milk glass. And the orange opalescent. And then the cobalt. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And 
and right over here is booth can't see the booth number let's see booth 209 a unicycle a cauldron a saxophone Again, the State Board Pharmacy is old. Like field air conditioner. An old ashtray. Beautiful chair. It's carved with bears on it and a squirrel. This is booth 237 over here. A pretty little girl right there. That's a beautiful chimney. There's lizards on that planter. I don't know what this is, some kind of a vice or something. I don't know what it is, but it's very well carved. This is still area 237. There's the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil monkeys. <laughs> There's a vintage bedpan. That's beautiful. I love that frosted picture. Jesse, look. Oh man, them eyes are creepy. Oh, they're scary. Wow. $295 for the Jester statue. Beautiful. These are real foreign monies inside of little gumball machine things. This brings us to 103. Vintage purses. Some jewelry. George Strait concert. Spider-Man. I don't know what that is. Celtic cross or triangle or something. The Tribeca. It says Sasha Sunshine. And there's how to get a hold of them. If you see anything you like here. Or if you want to see some more of their items. This brings us around to area 278. It's a candy store cash register. This is a crock, three gallon. It's a beautiful mirror. There's an old Emerson sewing machine. Beautiful small secretary desk. This is neat. Looks like you can slide the trays out to whatever size. See, you can slide the tray to whatever size you want it to be. A propeller. I'd walk around the cabinet, I'm sorry. This is for taking your boots off. This is a vintage ironing board made out of cedar, or a cedar table made out of ironing board legs. 
This is a little sitting area that they have for booth 112. Lead crystal vase. There's no place like home. That's the way I felt about Kansas the whole time I was gone. Look at this beautiful glass, all these shoes. Look at that owl, I love it. More little boots, the hop nail. These are beautiful items. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. It says dual abstract pottery bowl. It's heavy. I don't know what they. Oh, it's, they're they're beautiful. Look at these vases. Looks like a. I'm gonna say um, Lucille Ball. Something she'd worn on Lucy and Dizzy show. I love that slide I glass. I was standing there with a couple of us, and I said, I want to put a K there and to the last booth. Stand directly under that. Frosted glass. Oh my gosh, I can't reach it. Let me see. Oh man, that's gorgeous. Murano Art Mid Century. Henry, look at that. Oh, my word. And they only want $25 for it. It's magnificent. And this is Fenton. It says canary yellow hobnail, but that is definitely Fenton. That is going to be the end of the antique booth. Come over here. They are doing drawings. You can put your name in for the drawing for whatever kind of item that you want. So that if your name gets drawn, it's at least something that you'd like to have. All right. So, thank you for being here. I hope you've enjoyed the Hudson Antique Market. And I'll come back from time to time as they get more booths in. Uh, we're at the, the Hudson Antique Market is at the corner of Kellogg and Woodlawn. And they're not open on Mondays, but they're open at 10 o'clock every other day of the week. All right. Thanks for being here. Bye. Get lockered. What is booth rental cost here? It's $3. $30 a booth fee. $3 square, square foot, foot and $30, 30 booth, booth fee. Booth fee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Y'all yeah. have fun. Yeah.